give a big round of applause to Miss Jinx Monsoon. She's fond of the clap. Listen, we are now in our third hour of the Jerry Lewis telethon. <laughs> Fucking retards. Here is our next entertainer, as we like to call it, intermission. Welcome, Mimi, I'm first. Are you getting drinks, Detox? Work on it, boo. Fuck you. Get over Bianca Del Rio. Or not. I could have fucking won too if my biggest competition was a fucking retarded Chola baby and a bad Olivia Newton John impersonator. Oh. So, fucking old cunt. She's so fucking. I have no voice. My real laugh won't come out. That was really fucking funny. <laughs> Bianca Del Rio is so fucking old that her Rolodex of hate used to be a stone tablet. She's so fucking old that the key on Benjamin Franklin's kite unlocked her apartment. She's so fucking old, the new Jurassic Park movie is called Bianca Del Rio. I want to thank Bianca Del Rio for making this cruise happen. Her entire family is cleaning your fucking cabins. Hey, remember that time that Jinx Monsoon won RuPaul's Drag Race? Me neither. I love you, Jinx Monsoon, but your fucking wigs look like they've been combed by a blender. Tyra Sanchez wanted to be here tonight, but she was very busy with other appearances, mostly the magistrate's office, a court-appointed community service obligation, and a paternity test on Maury Povich. Wait, wait, everybody, take this in. Mimi's funny for once. This is good! Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Shangela is here. Yes, unfortunately. You know, Shangela is a lot like a Christmas fruitcake. Five pounds of dried up fruit soaked in liquor that arrives in a box every year and no one wants to eat it. <laughs> If you get fired from your fucking job, do you get to show up the next fucking day in a box to terrorize everybody in the goddamn office? I don't think so. And then there's Detox. Ladies and gentlemen, Detox. What a fucking scary face. You don't understand. When she was born, her mother asked the doctor, is it a boy or a girl? And the doctor said, no. Detox. Detox was such a fucking ugly kid <laughs> that her mother told her. <laughs> the only way that she could get a man. <laughs> no, I guess. <laughs> Don't touch me. It's too much like fucking you. Seriously, she was so ugly that her mother told her the only way she could ever get a man to fuck her would be to wear a plastic bag on her head. To which Detox said, Mom, don't you mean a paper bag? And her mom said, no. <laughs> Since then, Detox <laughs> has had more work done to her face than the hole at ground zero. <laughs> Speaking of holes and national disasters, it's very nice to see you doing something other than singing backup for Willem. <laughs> now, Willem, what nice things can I say about Willem? <laughs> Nothing. Willem, you know, a lot of people make fun of her, of her bearded fucking face, and Willem isn't a butterface as much as she is, I can't believe it's not a butterface. <laughs> you know that Aerosmith song, Dude Looks Like a Lady? Not about Willem. <laughs> Willem is such a fucking whore. To be honest, she's fucked more people than the Alan Chuck Dot Travel Sales Department.
Enjoy it, girl. It's the only time they stood up for you. Trust me. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. They Fuck always you, stand bitch. up and they usually leave when you start doing a show. <laughs> now, listen, I'm not saying that Willem's a slut, but she's been under more sheets than the KKK. <laughs> And speaking of racist, Sharon Needles is here. <laughs> Sharon Needles, it's so nice to see you dressed up as Joan Rivers, Robin Williams' new best friend. You know, Sharon, oddly enough, Joan and your career have both have a lot in common. They're dead. <laughs> speaking of dead careers, Pandora Box is here. <laughs> Give it up for Pandora Box. Give it up. Yes, yes. Give it up, Pandora Box. Give it up. No, seriously, Pandora Box, give it up. <laughs> For those of you who might have missed that one brilliant, awful episode of RuPaul's Drag Race All-Stars, she was my illustrious partner on that goddamn shit show that I have to call RuPaul's Concentration Camp for Wayward Homosexuals. <laughs> when we were in that hot pink sweatshop, she was my partner, and let's be honest, she was about as useful as Latrice Royale's corset. <laughs> Give it up for Latrice. Latrice, where are you? Latrice, isn't she precious? No, really. Isn't she precious? But... to Pandora. Now, Pandora, let's be honest. You were such a fucking cunt on RuPaul's Drag Race All-Stars that even Roxy Andrews would have left you at a bus stop. <laughs> and what can I say, Pandora? Let's talk about your illustrious music career, shall we? You were the only bitch who makes people wish they were listening to Manila Luzon. <laughs> Pandora Box, I have some good news for you. You can now retire. We have Ben de la Creme. Oh. Ben de la Creme, you can now retire. We already had Varla Jean Merman. Oh. Now, Michelle Visage, some people like to call you legendary, but I just prefer the term historic. <laughs> Let's face it, Michelle Visage is a very layered woman. She's an enigma wrapped in a riddle and then it's wrapped in bacon and deep fried. <laughs> As a member of Seduction, she opened her legs for, no, it's Seduction, she opened for Millie Vanilli in the 90s. That's, very, that's, a, that's a great accomplishment. That basically means she's gone from, uh, from uh, careers that are destroyed by lip syncing to being the lap dog of a queen who demands it in exchange for your life. <laughs> Michelle Visage is such a fucking ass kiss in a RuPaul that her nose is browner than RuPaul's ass, and he's black. <laughs> She's such a fucking whore that she used to roofie Bill Cosby. <laughs> when Michelle Visage tours, she likes to constantly remind people at the opening of all of her shows that look, she has legs. Unfortunately, she doesn't like to tell us that she doesn't know how to close them. <laughs> Everyone knows that Michelle Visage hates green, which is odd because she's had more hands up her than Kermit the Frog. <laughs> the only thing longer and saggier than Michelle Visage cleavage is her vagina. <laughs> and her dick. <laughs> but I'd like to wrap up tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I've been dealing with bullshit from all these fucking queens all night. And my roast is about reading. So I'd like to read for you now one page out of the four page notes from one queen's technical requests. Can I get a drink, please? I will not mention this queen by name. 303, intense strobe lights with white flashing crawler lights on the stage around the performer. No colored lights at this time. Cue the wind machine. The wind... <laughs> The wind is machine. Is this serious? Yes, this is, no, this is not a joke. This is what I really got on my fucking door. It's four fucking pages. Hand Does she know we're on a carnival cruise ship? You get a spotlight, that's it? 
Yeah. All right. Cue wind machine. Wind machine will be on from 305 to 351. 312. Stop the strobes. Flood the stage with intense all white light. White circular white lights still flashing quickly. It's verbatim. Wind machine still on. 327. Intense colored lights. All colors. Flash rapidly from the ceiling in time with the music. Just go nuts. <laughs> Visual climax of song, but make sure no lights on the audience at all times. They must be in the dark. <laughs> Hue, fire effects, pyrotechnics. <laughs> to the... <laughs> I have a lighter <laughs> and some hairspray. Cue fire effects <laughs> with hey. the music from 327 to 351. If the wind machine needs to be turned off in order for you to use a fire, then please turn off the wind. <laughs> this is like some fucking bad, like, uh, Hocaponis colors of the fucking wind in Auschwitz fucking number. I don't fucking know. 351, wind and fire off. Lights slow down and don't flash. Gentle, soft light changes in sync with the slower speed and mood of this part of the song. The light tech can choose the specifics. And to this, I say, no, Raja.